And it's the Turner Construction Lightning Round brought to you appropriately by Turner Construction. They are the world-class contractor that is taking Omaha, I don't know if you'd say by storm, because they're really more like just integrating themselves into the community. Whirlwind. Porgent. But we're they're taken up by Whirlwind. Whirlwind, yeah. So anyway, we love Turner Construction because they have a deep, deep resources, a deep bench, a deep track record of success with both small and blockbuster projects. And um, they do it all. Full service contractor that uh, has international resources. But here in Omaha, you know, in a lot of waves, just kind of acts like a local contractor. So we thank Turner Construction uh, for bringing us the lightning round and recommend you call them if you're looking for a contractor or a great place to work in the construction trades. All right, let's get into it. Uh, Bottles and Barrels plans to open soon. 204th and Q Street, going to be a uh, self-serve wine and liquor store with uh, cool pouring technology, similar to what you may have remembered in the old brick store at Village Point. Sad news, the Fire Barn, a sports-themed restaurant filled with firefighter memorabilia in Waterloo, closing permanently on January 21st, owned by the same person uh, who happens to be Waterloo's fire chief, who is the owner of Farmer Brown's nearby. Good news, Farmer Brown's opening for lunch starting January 24th to make up for Fire Barn being closed. Radical Minds, new private school that serves children with autism, as least 2,500 square feet, uh, right near 156th and Blondo. Perfect. That was done by Chris Falcone in our office, Trenton. Uh, F45 Training will hold a grand opening Thursday, January 19th for its new location in Pepperwood Village. Uh, it's a fitness business out of Austin, Texas. 1,750 locations. It's worldwide. In 45 countries. Trenton, we've got a new coffee business uh, coming to La Vista. Very excited for my friends at uh, Coffee Society Cafe, right near 108th and Giles Road. It's on Virginia Plaza. You can't miss it. Um, They open a week from today to the public from 6 a.m. to 7 at night. It's the Hebner family. It's a family affair. Uh, They developed that building. Good friends. And uh, Kevin Hebner also has core construction. So, I can't speak highly enough about it and go check it out. Uh, It's the uh, uh, Coffee Society Cafe opening the 21st. Baked After Dark in Benson is closing January 21st. The cookie company has cited the high cost of ingredients. The the Monarch Grill by La Paz has replaced Pop and Smoke Southern Grill inside the American Legion Post 32 in downtown Papillion. La Paz is a Mexican restaurant out of Lincoln. Uh, Bank of America is going to replace a former Bank of the West. So if you can picture 85th and Dodge, there's the brand new Little King there. And then there was a vacated bank building that is coming down. Yeah, so they're t- tearing that down, and, and it looks like they're taking the building down. I, I doubt that they're going to retrofit it, but maybe they just keep the sign and change a few letters. But uh, <laughs> Bank of America, I don't think I think this is the first retail location. They've got a a office space near 132nd and uh, West Dodge Road, but uh, so I don't know if we're going to see more. Bank of the West, uh, uh, Bank of America retail locations as well. I'm very curious about that, too. I mean, B of A is one of the true banking heavyweights in the United States. Well, I know of another couple of banks that are are doing retail locations before they're getting rid of drive through locations and making them smaller and stuff. But I think they realize that people want to drive through and people want to see physical locations. Yeah, and uh, and that will be high profile as it gets right there on Dodge. The winery in Clock Tower Village, which is right across from the West Roads, um, has reopened. This was a popular place. It had closed back in 2018. People loved the winery. And uh, now it's got new ownership and it's back. Yeah, uh, Holly Jones and Julie Hockney, who's a wonderful interior designer, um, friends of ours, and they're bringing it back. It'll, very, it'll very be cool. right up to the West, uh, West Roads Ring Road. Yeah. And then uh, Dave's Hot Chicken has opened. Uh, we mentioned it, it was opening last week, their first Nebraska location. Uh, this is a fast-growing restaurant chain out of Los Angeles, and they are up and running at Saddle Creek just north of Dodge. 
If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.